Cool. If you're good. All right, so this will go on my hard drive, and we'll deal with that later. Cool. Um, all right, so I have no idea what to do about Pryo. Um, I mean, I guess we wait and see who wins, right? But I've actually never even played the sword base, moon base thing. If, if you want to intentionally <clears throat> play, like, out of Pryo or in Pryo or whatever, that, that's fine. We can just go ahead and do this. Because yeah. this is, like, for educational purposes. Exactly. So that's what I was... Who cares about, quote-unquote, fairness and, like, figuring out the crisis setup? It's right. all about what's it's... the best learning for you. Exactly. It's it's the uh, purposeful practice or whatever, right? Um, yeah. So... I, I just I have questions about how that priority role goes for me. I want to know what your thoughts are on win lose priority role and what happens if I I get either of those results. So if I if I win priority, I have the option of picking extract, hoping to get my twenty point extract to force him into Asgard. And oh, by the way, for those of you that are watching this later on YouTube, um, this is what. Esmond brought season five and GD nerd and I are doing a test run because I don't like my chances. <laughs> so it's, yeah. Uh, so he's got, I, I feel like in this meta in general, whoever gets prior is going to pick extracts, right? So I don't know. Do, do you worry more about the case when you get your extracts or the case where you don't? Because that really seems to be the question to me. So, I think that we have, it's, it's a great question, um, and I don't know the answer, um, and I certainly don't know the, the answer well enough to articulate it. Um, I have this feeling that his low point value teams may end up being better than mine because he has the options that I don't because I took the house. Like, 14, so what, 15, what I've 16 seen... points, I mean. What I've seen in this season so far is that five wide control lists are actually insanely good right now. Mm -hmm. um, like, I, I kind of went in under the assumption that Wakanda and Web Warriors weren't going to be that big because I assume people are going to wait for uh, Amazing Spider Man. Yeah. Um, and Wakanda, I, I feel like only people who really like control play Wakanda at this point. Um, but I ran into two web warriors that went five wide against my four with Asgard and just trapped me. Um, mm. And I think uh, with the way that so many people are forcing E shapes right now, obviously this isn't the case because you're playing against Wakanda forcing uh, E instead of D. Th there's a lot more split than there is E force, um, mm -hmm. which is a very much change from the past. You're right. Um, so theoretically, if you feel good about forcing Wakanda off of a secure shape that they really like, that's an option. But I think that uh, the default, without talking to Esmond, is that he would try and force extracts just to not deal with whatever extract trick you've got going on. Which is really just alien ship and trying to slow the game down. Um, yeah, because you to leverage got, Thanos basically, right? So yeah, the <clears> only <throat> questionable one for on your secures for Wakanda, I feel, is uh, sort of establishes base on Moon, uh, Moon's Blue area. But I think Wakanda just generically loves low points. They've got two very good guaranteed frontline characters. Um, the bigger problem is there's not a clean five wide fourteen with the way he's built it. He doesn't have Toad in here, uh, which would mm. be a huge up. Uh, so he would be forced to play four white at 14. Either, I'm, I'm assuming the default would be Black Panther, Shuri, Okoye, Angela over MODOK, especially on sword base, because MODOK doesn't want to play that um, C shape. Right. And that's basically exactly what I run, so it's a perfect mirror, which I don't know if it, how I feel about, you know? Well, comes generally, I think the conventional wisdom is <clears throat> that the Wakanda player without Pryo tends to win in the Wakanda mirror. Right, so if I get Pryo, then I don't want Sword Base because he has the advantage. Because it's likely a 4 for 4 character match. Well, I think if you get Pryo, you actually don't want to... Uh, you. Uh, well, uh, that's the tricky thing, because there's overlap in your like secure setup, right? I mean, it's, it's a little bit different where... Esmond's more trying to force the D-Force. I think you want him to pick Secures if he does not have Pryo. And you might prefer to pick... Ah, oh, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that's one of the tricky things with Mirrors. It's like, 
I, I think you want to not have Pryo. But on the other hand, if you want to force the imbalance... So I guess if you get Pryo, you want to try and uh, force alien ships onto him. I think that's very clearly the answer. Yeah. Because you want to try and screw with his Wakanda prep. No. But if you don't get Pryo... I mean, you're at the mercy of what he picks, but I think you want him to pick secures because if he forces you to pick secures, you're probably going to give him something that he's going to be fine with anyways. Yeah, I just don't love Demons Downtown um, because he has the option of going Asgard and they're probably better at Demons Downtown because, you yes. know, they can remove conditions. And um, at high points, that's almost assuredly <clears throat> the play. Right. Because, like, you would just play something like Thor, Angela, Enchantress, Modok, or Thor, Angela, Enchantress, Shuri, Okoye, depending on how controlly and wide your opponent was. Yeah. Um, so, if I win Pryo, I aim for alien ships, and what's my backup play if I discard that? Obviously not spider-infected, I think. Because yeah, that, so then that I guess was it in has here. to be research station. Yeah. And then we just kind of have to fight over research station. What do I look well, at? Well, the, the upside points. is you have Thanos, so... <clears throat> right. At 16 points, I usually run 5 wide, but... What does this look like? 12. No, it's the wrong character. 15. I can do one gem. You do mind. Yeah. Yeah. I usually, if I have to pick one, it's usually mined. Unless there's, like, a very strange reason where, like, we're playing on Skrulls or something. And I just want Thanos to be more tanky and I don't absolutely need him to push stuff away. Or to, to walk people. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, de that's definitely, like, a, a pivot. So, I think that's fine if I gain Pryo. If I lose Pryo, um... What does he want to pick into me? <clears throat> I think he picks extracts because he's happy with literally all of your secures, so he'd rather have control on that. Okay. Um, the question there is, I guess, what flavor does he prefer? Because you can play, you can play the eighteen hammers game with Wakanda, and do something like uh, Black Panther, Shuri, Okoye, Enchantress, Angela, go for a hammer mismatch and threaten Angela or Enchantress on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, research station I have to assume I, I haven't played it uh, into Wakanda yet but I've I've played into it with the Web Warriors variation and I think Control is very obnoxious on that but <laughs> in Mirror that's kind of dicey so I, I'm assuming he would aim to abuse some kind of Angela imbalance with priority with extracts which comes down to cube or hammers and traditionally I prefer cube though then you would but either research have to station, downgrade enchantress or not take uh Angela. are you still talking about the 16 point extract research station no, no no i'm talking about cube now sorry okay i'm i'm a little bit hesitant on research station because it's a control mirror and i think very much like the traditional wakanda secures um it favors the character the player who doesn't have priority right but this is the situation where i've lost priority oh yeah so they have to, yeah that is, so that's what i'm saying uh, Esmond would not want to pick that. Not want to pick Research Station. Okay. Yes. He would want to pick cubes or hammers. And and I and think then I cube fire back is with... more natural. Yeah. Okay. And then I fire back with what? My sword base? Because I don't have Pryo. And I can maybe... I can maybe afford to keep days and things. Sword base Gamma, I would say. Yeah. Keep... Are probably yeah i can afford to keep dazing characters with thanos early um if i play at 14 points i have this really really jank 14 point um setup where you take uh oh, that's not it how do i oh, eh, eh. um where i take uh black panther shuri thanos and a mind gem yeah <laughs> it's just three characters going f you and <laughs> push everywhere yeah yeah, I, I can see that working on a super small board. Hell, even just playing Gamma with... Because well, uh, I mean, you, only need, you only need to capture two of the sword so base The problem points. is when you start doing that, you really want to maintain not having priority, I feel like. Um, because you 
since this is an all or nothing secure, yeah. Um, the VP Delta is super important, which means you really want the last activation, which means going three wide when you can go four into somebody who definitely can and very potentially will go four, I think might be a mistake. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I wasn't super comfortable with it, but I thought I would point it out. Yeah. Okay. If, if you were playing into something less controlly, I think that would be a very fascinating team. Jury's like the big question mark to me there, because... Uh, uh, she doesn't love living on the midline, and you just right. pick the midline only secure, but I can see it work. So, cool. Okay. So, which do you think, of, which of these two situations, winning Pryo or losing Pryo, is worse for me? Because that's probably the matchup. winning Pryo. Okay. Traditionally, in the Wakanda Mirror, whoever does not have Pryo is going to have a bit of an edge. Okay. So, let's play a game where I win Pryo, and okay. we'll play my alien ships and whatever you want to choose, and... Um, I'll take the priority player, and then we'll see how that goes for me. Okay, we're just going to pick El Clasico. <clears throat> so, Alien Ship and Gamma, do you want to play 15 or 20 here? Well, we said 20, so let's go with that. <laughs> yep. Um, so, 20 points. Um, 20 points I, is one of those ones where I actually have options. Um, I have um, all the Wakandans I have Thanos with all of his gems and I can choose between either Valkyrie or Ghost Spider and I think in this matchup I probably like Valkyrie <clears throat> I mean she can displace just as well as Ghost Spider can with the throw versus the, the pull um, so this is okay uh, yeah I mm. It's really tricky. I think Enchantress might be the call here. It really depends on how much you really want that reality gem on Thanos. I mean... Because I think the beams, uh, the beams on E can get really bonkers, especially because since you're generating guaranteed mm. power, you're essentially bowing everybody within three of you off of the points, um, which is like multiple staggers and or like gamma damage. So then you think I should run something like this? Yes, I think that would okay. be incredibly potent. All right, I can dig it. Let's go with that. Oops. Um, let's save this. Okay. And then I'm going to go for a kind of basic bitch Wakanda, or not Wakanda, <laughs> um, uh, Asgard 20, so that's going to be... Uh, Thor, Prince of Asgard, Angela, Enchantress, Medusa, and Okoye. Nice. And then for tactics, it's going to be Odin's Blessing, Field Dressing, Disarm, Brace, Bitter Rival. Yep. Yeah, um, all the good ones, basically. So, for my tactics, I have the main three. I have, you know, my two restricted cards in Wakanda Forever. Um, there's really um, not much to pick up in this scenario. So... I'm not sure how mandatory advanced R&D is, but I always say to myself, man, I wish I had advanced R&D. Um, and you yeah. you took both Disarm and Bitter Rivals, did you? Yes. Man, it's that, just going to turn That might be a bit of a miscalculation fight. on my part, but I feel like my main advantage <clears throat> here is that um, I probably can outfight you. Thanos is like a bit of a sticking point. Though. Right. And realistically speaking, if I'm taking bitter rivals or disarm, it's probably going to be to neuter Angela? Question mark. Yeah. Because I'm I'm thinking of taking the advanced R and D regardless or climbing gear. To I get... think both of those are valid options. I mean, literally any of your remaining tactics cards could work here. I feel yeah. I think that I'm going to be hurting for not taking Bitter Rivals and Disarm. So um, I guess it comes down to how confident are you in your control versus how much do you feel you need to uh, stave off my attrition. Because <clears throat> I will just eventually outpunch you. I think that I'm less good at control than Esmond is. 
Yeah, and th this might be part of my personality bleeding in because I'm I've been playing a lot of Asgard in the kind of bruisery style. Mm -hmm. uh, so he he might have a lighter touch where he's trying to go for a more control oriented setup, but. And I think uh, considering I the amount give you a good game rather than yeah. something exactly what Esmond would do. No, I I totally get it. Um, I mean it it helps to see what else they're capable of at the least and usually i play by sense of smell anyway so this kind of helps yeah. inform the decision regardless um i think climbing gear could be a good get out of jail free card for me here to kind of help bail out or to you know get get thanos moved into a better position um or maybe if he he ends up pushing me or doing something i'm not expecting i can scooch back onto a point with it and because gamma is worth so many damn points like that could be a a big win you know or at least the threat yeah. of it. <clears throat> I think maybe I just drop R and D and take like bitter rivals because this is going to turn into a mess in the center. I think. Actually, I'm going to make a last second audible out of disarm and into advanced R and D. I, I think uh, part of my recent losses has been uh, not pulling the gun on advanced R and D uh, enough. Ironically. Man, now you got me rethinking my shit. I, I so I specifically want it here because I want to be able to threaten the um, the round one extract theft with Enchantress oh, yeah. or a uh, for Asgard. Okay, yeah. So that's that's fine. I think that those are both extremely valid use cases. All right, I'm just gonna roll with this. I've got climbing gear. I've got bitter rivals loaded up, and we'll see at the end of the game if I say to myself, I really needed advanced R and D. Let's go. Turn that top menu yeah. off. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Stream review. Turn off timers. Cool. All right. Um, I'm all set. So we ended up with uh, Black Panther, uh, Shuri Okoye. We ended up with Thanos and... Uh, Thanos with one gem, the mind gem, and uh, Enchantress. I took Climbing Gear, Field Dressing, Wakanda Forever, Brace for Impact, Bitter Rivals. You got... I'm going to feel like such an asshole, by the way, <laughs> if after convincing you to not take the reality <laughs> gem to bump to Enchantress, I managed to pick up <laughs> the mm -hmm. Greek core. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Oh, uh, but I, I was core... working under the assumption that you're trying to slow down the game here. Yes. And do something that they'll struggle with. Yes, and I think that's still the idea, right? Because no one really wants to go out and get the side ones, especially not yep. early, because not only does it make it so that you're probably not making an attack, you take a damage. But then you're also outside yep. gamma, you take a damage. So, like, that's real bad. Because then I can, especially for you, because then I can just go, hey, Thanos says get over here. Exactly. <clears throat> okay, so I win prio, so I have to go first. And this is the way you want the map turned? Yep. I really like having this fountain screwing up Sherry. Got it. Especially because I'm literally all size two, so she can't see through it. To any <laughs> of my wow, that sucks. <sighs> Nasty neighborhood. And on top of that, my home shelter uh, is like perfectly protected. I can hide behind it with Koya if I want, or I can stand her on the building. Yeah. In more attritiony matchups, because with cover and all her BS, she doesn't go down. Mm. Much like Batman. Yeah. <sighs> Rude. Rude indeed. Heroes don't do that. <laughs> no, no, they don't. Okay, um, let me get this token out here. So, get to point snap activated. Um, I mean, this is just going to be a freaking scrum in the center. I can't actually throw the damn fountain, can I? Um, don't worry, I'll take care of that for you yeah, right? as soon as I feel like it. No, Enchantress is size two, unfortunately. She's got a range three pickup, That's, which is... Yeah, I knew there was a three somewhere on her card. Okay. Um, well, that being said, I gotta do something else with my Shuri. <clears throat> Whatever, she probably still goes in the middle, and then I adjust from there. And I'm not sure there's much value to deploying too many characters on the wings, to be frank. Yeah, yeah, it's just going to be a giant scrum, I think. Yeah. I'm going to put down a Koei first because that's low committal, and I'm just going to put her off to the side of it. Oh, what a coincidence. 
Uh, I'll put her a little bit more in just so I have the option to climb if I'm feeling it. Mm. Go ahead. Shuri, I guess. Yeah, I don't hate that. So let's put Shuri over here. Or Prince of Asgard, right down the middle. Got it. I think I better put Thanos down because mostly he's probably just going to be going in the middle, and also because if I get this area too crowded with that stupid tree there, it's going to be hard to place him. Yep. <clears throat> well, the I don't think the tree actually encroaches into your actual deployment line, so it's just annoying okay. visually. Yeah, it's harder to see over the top from this side of the table, basically. Uh, Angela's going to slot in right next to her brother. Mm hmm We'll do... I guess... We'll do Enchantress in the middle. You're up. Uh, Enchantress will go right next to Thor. Okay. And I'll just put Panther back out here, because he's fast enough to get where he needs to be. Yep, and then <clears throat> Dusa will just be off to the side so that she can Dusa. actually skirt the building, because she doesn't have wall crawler. <laughs> I mean, she it's fine. She doesn't need it. She can float off the ground with her hair, yeah. She doesn't need it. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think they should tone her down in a lot of ways <laughs> if they were ever to do a bounce pass, but... My inner Vorthos is unhappy that she's not a wall crawler. Right <laughs> All right, I did power phase, and yep. let's see, prior is to me in this game, so good luck, man. Yell, yell. Oh, God. So I think I'd have to lead with someone who doesn't push, which is Dakoye. Barf. Um, yeah, so I guess the question is, are you going to put her onto the center or make her a home shelter holder because potentially Shuri goes like further up to get around the fountain yeah that's kind so of what that I'm thinking has actual control influence so I think we just kind of run up there and set up for bodyguard and maybe I can backstop on the fountain I think it might draw in like I don't expect uh, whoops deployment snap I don't expect Esmond to really go ham like that first activation you know yeah but uh who knows? So, Maybe so it me. just, I guess, a question to ask right now. Who's holding your home game at Shelter? Because I feel like you should start every game understanding exactly <clears throat> who's going to do that. I don't mind Enchantress holding it right now. Yeah. Because at the worst case scenario, she can fly over it. I'm honestly not sure how long the fountain stays there. Yeah, we'll see. Because, because it is... A backstop for me in the center, which is where we're fighting, and that's going to make it difficult for you to push me off, right? So, well, so something you should take <clears throat> into consideration is that I have an omnidirectional bow, and Medusa's push is omnidirectional, so the backstop actually isn't super valuable. Gotcha. The only effect that the backstop actually stops against is Thor's wild trigger on his hammer. Literally, every other control effect I have just says okay, you backstop yourself, I don't care. Yeah, okay. It's really weird uh, playing into that, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean... And something else to consider is, if you are standing on that middle point, uh, Angela will be able to hit you. Yes. By definition. Yes, she will. Um, though, her getting one attack on a Koya at range 2 is okay. I guess. I mean, yeah, it's like definitely it, not the end of the world. Doesn't really kill her. Just right? something so. to think about when you're allocating resources to that center point. Yeah, I'm really not sure how to play this situation. I'm just kind of going with. I need to put somebody here, mostly as a distraction, yep. and that's a non. So that way, it's a valid scenario move, and then we'll just figure it out. Yep, sounds good. Move her along there. Get her sandwiched up next to the fountain. And, then and so I guess just a question for this thing is it's like <clears throat> inaugural, right? Yeah. Um, like what what level of like opposition coaching do you want from me? I um, guess. 
I need help with this matchup. So anything you okay, can yeah, offer yeah, is yeah. great. Um, I'm happy to talk through things, yeah. you know, um, and if you're like, hey, there's the sneaky play coming up in like two rounds. If I move Medusa here, I'd like to know about that so I can try to watch yeah, for yeah. that shit if he tries to pull something. Perfect. He blew my mind the last time I played him in in the league, um, like last season. I deployed a bunch of stuff the way, you know, as per my game plan. And then, uh, you know, I was staring down Valkyrie on one flank and he goes, nope, Valkyrie just walks sideways to the other side of the board. And I was like, man, he's better than I am. <laughs> There, there, there's a reason why he's one of the top performers. Yeah. Uh, Okoye is just gonna move up and hide behind this building. Mm -hmm. So the only way you're dislodging her is with Thanos. Mm -hmm. And important. it buys time for you to waste other control activations. Yeah. Yeah, what a mess. Um, and the goal of slowing down the game is that I try to not pick up the center objectives, so maybe I just stick well, I, I, I figure you should be attempting it, um, with at the very least, like, Thanos, or whoever, whoever really beefy you've got. Which is probably just Thanos or Panther, but I might want to keep Panther's power online turn one for random Wakanda forever shenanigans. That's fair. So, I might just stick Panther there and guard it. I don't like anyone else really going up just yet. That's fair. Your Asgardians would have the power to move up and punch uh, Enchantress with the debuff. So I don't like putting her there. Yeah, I think it's Panther. And we just kind of waste another activation. That should end up within two. So I think we're okay there. He's just going to double move to her. Yep, you got Around the fountain? Yeah, a little bit. There we go. He's done. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Not cool. Okay. Enchantress is going to move up to I'm gonna put these tools away. I'm just going to get onto the, <laughs> the leading edge of this yep. godforsaken nightmare building. <laughs> but Ghani, if you're watching this... Why? Why is the sign there? Upset. <laughs> Upset face. Well, oh. it's no it's no Pagani's alehouse. What can I say? <laughs> Okay, so I'm well. I'm definitely within four of her. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, out on Panther. Damn. Okay. Uh, Could have gone more laterally, but whatevs. The uh, Koi is the most important bit. I'm just going to uh, beam a Koi. Mm -hmm. So five into your three. Yep. No martial arts. Yep. Man, I could have used those blanks. Uh, three with two saps. Um, I get. Well, I got a reroll, so. Yeah, so you might as well uh, spend for the Wakanda reroll too. Yeah, because you and, aren't gonna have the power either way. Right. So, toss it off and then reroll this one. Yep. <sighs> Worst. Three damage. Yep. Um, so I'll get a power and then I'll immediately spend two to bow you. Mm -hmm. See ya. This kills the Okoye. Bro, I should totally climbing beer back in when you're least expecting it. I mean, th <laughs> th those are the kinds of five head plays that win people games. <laughs> five head plays. <laughs> <sighs> Enchantress will be done. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the weird thing. If you're standing on that building, sure you can see you past the fountain. Yep. Whoop. 
Oof, maybe? Yeah, that should be in. I mean, I don't hate that. Honestly. Are you going to get much better? Well, uh, so here's the problem. I feel like... Mm, and and again, this, this might just be my predilections, but I feel like Koi should have been holding the home shelter okay. because I feel like literally every other character would prefer to be further up than her. Because, like, Shuri is one of your ideal candidates to be holding this, and sure, you can put Enchantress there, but she's going to have a limited sphere of influence standing on it. Mm-hmm. I don't okay. Know, maybe, maybe it's still fine. Yeah. No, it, it might be the right play. I I feel like, uh, well, that that's again part of the rub is, uh, Enchantress is not at all re- relevant to my scenario play right now. Right? She mm. like she's not going to be threatening to stand on any points. So displacing her is nice, but is it the best thing you can do with her? And should you go with her now? I guess out of your three remaining pieces, she's probably the best one to go with. So that probably is the best play unless you want to double move her somewhere wacky. Yeah, so my other thought right after your turn was to maybe put Thanos up and start to bring your Enchantress in to beat her down. Because that should get me enough range to pull her in with a, a portal followed by a Mind Gem into within melee range. And if I'm very lucky... I can slam her into this fountain repeatedly. Or maybe that police car. If That's I can a fair play. just rip her off the table, like, turn one, maybe that... I mean, like, that really gets rid of a huge, um, you know, You also effect. have priority next round, which um, means that saving a Koye <laughs> by portaling her might be worth it. Though, I mean, if you if you beat on Enchantress hard enough, you'll probably get enough to portal yeah. Okoye back in anyways. That's the idea. So, maybe I just go for this and take your Enchantress away before you can do anything about it. I, I think that, actually, in retrospect, I think that is the correct play because that saves Sturry for whoever I send up next. Right. Okay, I like this. Let's see if we can make that work. Come up there. Just get him as close to the fucking thing as possible. Uh, it looks like it was touching. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. It's so right at the edge of four there. Uh, pay two for the portal. Portal me, daddy. <laughs> Harder, daddy. Harder. God. No. Yeah, you need to be ever so slowly in further past the fourth, the range four to get Thanos's stuff online. So. I think that I want to send yep. you this way with the gem. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, and just repeatedly slam me into the police car. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so second action, I guess he'll just punch you. Yep. Yeah, that's the the trouble here is that you know I only get one punch, but it is what it is. Six dice. As long as you get one damage, that means that uh, you'll be able to R&D a portal if you feel the need. I got a two uh, crits. But I block with three. Oh, wait, no. I only have... I don't have the reality gem. Blech. Mwahaha. I bamboozled you. Yeah, that's going to be no damage, unfortunately. Do I reroll Shuri? Is she in? She's not quite in, right? Oh. No, she's out. She's out. Uh, well, was there anybody in between these two? If not, you like it's objectively correct that you should just nudge her in for deployment's sake. Let's just do that. There was no one to them, so sure. Because so like yeah. with, with sure, you want to have the most like compact column as possible, right? Mm-hmm. So maybe uh, she goes so, in the center, dead center next time. Yeah, um, she's very great in the dead center because it. Uh, I was just it, scared of that damn uh, Helps you defend BP better, I think. Well. Yeah. Even so, with the straight, I don't think you get it. The issue is, though, the fountain wasn't here. My crit didn't roll into anything, so I just can't do damage. So, I don't think it matters. Yeah. yeah okay. That's so, a shame. Thanos will be done. It is what it is. I can try and pop her next turn, because I can start with a debuff attack. On the bright side, this does give an interesting option for Shuri <clears throat> to go onto this Gamma Shelter if you want to send Enchantress more forwards. Because <clears throat> uh, now she can ping Enchantress here. Mm-hmm. Um, so your only way of saving Okoye right now 
Ugh. So I just left Thanos to take the gamma damage. This sucks. Uh, was there somewhere where you could have positioned him slightly better here where he would still get this? Like, if you go no. max two of Enchantress? No, because which, you I would had, have portal had the range for everything. But I had to portal you, and I was basically just within range four. Okay. Um, so now the next question is, who do I go with? So I see the options as Angela goes after Black Panther, and I just say, like, whatever, you can try and hit me with Sherry, but are you actually going to get anywhere with that? And I can even do something really wacky where I go up to here off of Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And start making um, it weird. Yeah. The next option is double move with Thor. <clears throat> and just say, maybe I get something more exciting with Enchantress. Or the third option is I go with Medusa and I try and daze Okoye now just so there's literally no window of saving her. Yeah, but personally, I don't want to do that because I would prefer to double move Medusa into the center. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate that, and I mean, she's gonna daze for you automatically as is, or you force a tactics card off me, or you force some other jank that I. Well, since I don't have prior, I think I want to hold Medusa last so that I take away your last window for uh, climbing gear, and so you just won't do it. Yeah. Um, rather than, like, planning around maybe he will, maybe he won't. So I'm just going to go with Thor. I'm going to double move him. Oh, God, fuck <clears throat> this bullshit. <laughs> um, all the way up into here, so that the only displacement tool that you'll have is uh, Enchantress, because of LOS. Right, okay. Um, and then just for the hell of it, he'll try and flip the thing while he's here. <laughs> Or no, it's just two on this one, right? Yeah. I'm so used to uh, defensive stats ones mm. that I just yeah. do it by reflex. Okay, so Thor's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I don't want to move my Shuri up. Well, I guess Angela can't get there immediately, right? Worst case scenario, I guess you throw a fountain at Shuri. You well, bounce, so, you bounce so off here's... Panther. Here's a bit of a side problem. If you do not go with Shuri right now, I'm going to use Angela to wedge in Thor, and then there's essentially no way you're stopping me from yeah, scoring the rock. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, I need to get Thor off of there while I still can. Well, if you're willing to do it with Enchantress, that's fine. It's just Thor will get wedged in next. Right. So, and I think that I, I need to try and, you know, take that away from you, is my feeling. Yeah. I don't see a a need to use Enchantress when I could wait on her for the omnidirectional stuff. Yeah. So the question becomes, if I top down this, where do I need to be to still have Thor? Okay, damn it. So I mean, like, I kind of have to be out to the side a bit, which is not ideal. Yeah, so I think actually in retrospect, you're going to want to use Enchantress to dislodge Thor. Okay. Which means you should go with your Enchantress right now, so that you're sure you can go after my Angela. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I think you just single move Enchantress as far up on the front of the mm -hmm. Gamma Shelter as humanly possible. Bow him off, um, and potentially set up a double beam of Thor and Enchantress. Though you would potentially catch Thanos, which is not ideal. I mean, he takes one damage from it. Yeah. It's okay, I guess. Depends on how much you care about that. Because he's, he's going to be taking some chip here, right? Because he's going to be taking gamma damage too, so that's two of his eight front side stamina right there. Yeah. I don't know if that's in range or not. Uh, looks just out. Uh, there's the range checker now, right? You can oh, right. use that. Sneaky. Uh, Where's my tools? out because it's red right yeah i believe that's the case yeah okay damn well if i was less sloppy about that i could have moved her further but whatever um, um you can you can just move thor off the point 
Uh, well, no. There's a, there's no clean way to do this without Thanos taking damage. Is the problem? Because mm. uh, you could just move him over here, mm. but mm -hmm. then draw the beam such that uh, it doesn't clip Thanos. Right. But the problem is to do that, you wouldn't be getting the automatic gamut damage, and the guaranteed point of damage is nice. so important. It's almost worth more than the beam, I'd say. Yeah, I agree. I think that I want to just bow him. Whoops. And we'll figure it out later. Sounds like a plan. You do have priority next round right. as well. So that's... You that's You definitely have like a promising option. To, yeah, I think if you nestle him behind Enchantress in such an angle that you can repeatedly throw Enchantress into him. Right. That's, that would be a very appealing That play. is exactly what's happening here. So the idea is that he's actually touching her. Whoops. Yep. Dude. I got you, fam. I got you, fam. Yo, my shit up. Got you, fam. All right, so that's okay. one move action, one bow, which we will pay for. Who? <laughs> And I I think I just leave her there. Like, I guess I can get a little bit further forward. Stand behind Thanos. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'll, I'll use the second move action. I'll just go over here. Yep. Get out of here with your nil values. Okay. We're done there. Okay. Angela is going to go slap a koi and see if she can <clears throat> um, prove herself as an angelic assassin. <laughs> Oh, Lord. So I'm fairly certain succeed or fail, I can just teleport onto the point. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm going to strike the shit out of you. Yep. Three dice. Oh, Three she so wants to live. Uh, four successes. Reroll for a koi. Yep. Yeah, I live. Perfect. Okay, so oh I'm gonna teleport off of you onto the point. Mm -hmm. Ideally, somewhere where it'll be very annoying for sure to get LOS. Mm -hmm. A little bit more this way, I think. Yeah, more flush. I like that. Okay. Because now I'm not sure how sure he gets a good line and good positioning. Yeah, that's probably your best bet is to laterally go over here. Somewhere where you're potentially not standing on the Gamma Shelter. I mean, I we'll think I can still make it work. I mean, if I'm an inch out and my base is even further out, I think that still works. Yeah, you should have it there. Use that place tool and go along there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I can see past Thanos' base to your base. I'm, like, yep. lowering the camera, and I, thankfully, I... Thank you, Tabletop. Oh, you, you, you see through Thanos anyways. Yes, yeah. I'm just lining up, lining it up past uh, the uh, fountain. Yep. Yep. Okay, we'll do a shot into Angela, as per I get discussed. Yeah. Womp womp. Totally matters. Here. It's not about damaging you. <laughs> uh, two blocks after cover. Mm -hmm. About sending a message. That's right, and rolling some skulls. So no damage, but you do get a push me, and you do get the bonus power. Yep. Oh my god. Does everyone just go in the same place? <laughs> sure. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Yeah, I think you get. I think she gets past just fine. Yep. Go hog. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Um... I mean, like, do I climb in gear now? Like, is it worth saving her? So what I will say is that I'm currently threatening to advance R&D a royal decree off of Medusa to pull a second person onto the point at which you will not have a window to stop me from doing so with a Wakanda forever. 
Yep, very true. So it's, do you want to see the center or do you want to lose the tactics card? Because one of the two is going to happen. Hmm. Um, that's a good question. Is this tactics card going to be... So beyond that decision, what do I gain from keeping her alive and how does it affect things? You know what I mean? Like... There's a chance I blow this tactics card, and you call an audible. So if you put her it. on the center, at best, I can tie you on the middle. <clears throat> if you if you just leave no, her there, I, I, get that I will score the middle. I'm asking so about, it's like, essentially, do you round. want the two VPs? Yeah, I'm asking about next round. You know, uh, it's it's a little bit complicated because so you have prio, and it really depends on what you pull off. Because so, um. She, she would very probably be your second activation unless I daze her. And if you daze Thor, then I probably don't have any incidental throws to throw her way, which means that she is going to probably live for your until your second activation comes around, which just gives you options. And if I daze her before she goes, um, well, that... It doesn't really matter one way or another, but that then I spent resources uh, that essentially gives you a window to go with another character. Right. I think there's upsides and downsides to both. It really just comes down to what you're feeling. In this matchup, is Okoye worth a field dressing? No, but she might be worth a climbing gear. Okay. Um, I mean, I brought it for exactly this circumstance where somehow you get me pushed off and I wasn't expecting it. And it also saves her life. I think I'm inclined to climbing beer. She had, she got exactly the power she needed for it. And, and that's just going to have to be that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to spend it. Is there a way that I can get out of that? Yes. Yeah, you're out of the range too. I think that I think that makes it a bit awkward for you to get closer to the secure, though you can probably still pull it off because of her big base. If you were to move her, so that'll be that tactic card spent, and then we're good to go. I'm done with my activation. Yep, so I'm going to R&D Medusa, double mm -hmm. move her onto the point within <clears throat> two of Angela. Yeah, hopefully onto the point. Hmm? Hopefully onto the point. She can probably get there. She just goes around. Oh, it. It's 100%. Yeah, uh, with double move, I have more than enough move. So here, and then... Yeah, the key is kind of getting the front side of her base around there, right? Yeah. And then she's going to do the thing, so it has to be within one. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to try and get Angela as much up in this BS as humanly possible. <laughs> like nice. Her. Cool. Um, and that will be it. Never put a touch on this. Okay, so that's end of round. Mm -hmm. We both score one. <laughs> uh, uh, my we... Thor takes gamma damage. My Enchantress takes gamma damage. And it's my Your Thanos, Thanos takes gamma damage. Oops, that's wrong. There we go. And then you retain Pryo, sir. So nice. Okay. Um, clean, clean up. up. And then power phase. And then it's your go. Sweet. I was actually talking with Esmond about the various uses of Wakanda Forever and how it's a high skill card. Like, using it now makes stuff real weird, doesn't it? Yep. I can get, like, I can get your Medusa away. Yeah, I can shoot someone with uh, my Okoye. 
gain the power back. I can get Thor off of my back. But honestly, like, if I can just punch your Enchantress into Thor repeatedly... Well, you can do both. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like that's just the way Yeah, you, I you want definitely to hold the Wakanda start. forever until the end. Yeah. But yeah, you start with Thanos. Yeah, I think um, that's where I want to start. Do you play better rivals, and if so, off of who? Well, yo, oh, sorry, Shuri is the only one who can yeah. do it on your side. I'm so used to playing <clears throat> Asgard, where literally anyone can do it at any time. <laughs> yeah, so basically they just power up into it, right? Oh, get back here. I mean, that seems like an excellent opportunity to use it, right? It's probably yep. going to pay this, for itself. This is the time. And I still have one reroll left on her if I need it. I think this is I think this is absolutely the play. Yep. Poop. Um, so we put it on Medusa, I think, because I'm not as worried about her output right, necessarily. Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah, because that'll also debuff uh, Angela, I think. It... It's actually, I mean, should it be Angela instead? Because they're in range, you know? Uh, Angela might be the better one. Yeah. Cause, if you want Angela, I'll put it on. Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah, let's go with Angela because I think that, I mean, Medusa's just making more attacks, so that should pay off more, right? To yep. reduce that output. Um, I feel like Angela, the bully that she is, is probably not my highest priority because she's just your stickiest model. You know, so Thanos activates and will pay two power to punch through Enchantress's alluring defenses. Okay, so I get one die. Mm hmm. <clears throat> A little bit of luck, please. <laughs> one block, about all I could ask for. Uh, four okay, so do... and one's, one's the throw. She has five yep, HP. So I take uh, six total, five remaining. So she's down to one health remaining after the impact. Got it. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Um, and do I want to try and turn this blank into a, a hit with Shuri to try and get you done in one? I think that's... Oh, if you, well, if you do that, that forces Odin's blessing. Yeah, so actually let me... I'm, yeah, like, you... I'm looking at that dice result and I'm saying to myself, is this what... Wait... Oh, you blocked so one. The, That's why you blocked one. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm so thinking the dangerous thing here is if you Odin's, you don't have power to discount the um to downgrade my defense on the next attack. Right. Uh, which could be very problematic because uh, if I Odin's, I'm only taking two damage, which means I'm gonna have three health remaining, which means you need to do two damage in a wild or three damage. Yeah. On I the don't... second attack through four defense dice. So I think that I'm going to leave it, and I think that because... Oh, wait, I never paid for the Bitter Rivals. Let's, let's do that first. I'll get um, I think I'm going to leave it as is, hoping that you know you have a different use for your Odins, right? Because I need power early game, so I think I sit on that result. And then I gain four on Thanos, right? Unless you're going to Odins it anyway. I'm, no, I'm not going to Odin set it at this current point, but if you do another point of damage, it basically changes it from maybe I will, I'm, I probably shouldn't, to I have to fucking do this straight mm -hmm. up. Yeah, okay. So what's the better outcome? What's the better outcome? And then we'll talk about probability. Is the better outcome to force out the Odins now or to build power? So I guess the better question is how confident do you feel about finishing the job if Thanos screws up with Wakanda forever? I think that oh, we also Shuri didn't do Thor's down. dodge in case that affects your decision making. Yeah, actually, so that comes first. Oh well, well, no, it doesn't. no, 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 that comes after. Sorry, I'm yeah, I'm skipping a bunch of steps. Yeah. <laughs> um. So it'll come before your decision to Odin's. That's where we're getting that from. I think. Um. I feel reasonably confident that like Shuri with six dice can get it done. All she needs to do is get one through. Failing that, I could use... Well, that, that's assuming Thanos falls one short. What if he does, like, literal nothing? Or well, just he's one already only fallen one short, right? 
because no, so, I'm going to deal four. So I have five health remaining. Oh, if you, no, you're right. You're you're blocking one. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, I'm talking about the case of if you spend on the reroll and uh, fail. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I don't have power to use Shuri. I think it's more yep. likely that I use six dice to get one damage. Well, me. actually, I guess at this point, you don't know either way which way I'm going to go. Yeah, I don't. So you should... Mm, yeah, I think you should go for the reroll here just to try and force the Odin's Blessing. Because then you know exactly what's going on. You've blown one of the most important tactics cards. Uh-huh. Um, and you'll at least have the Wakanda reroll. Um, on this one or the next one? On this one. I don't. He's out of power. He spent his two power to... No, because he's going to get one power for doing one damage. Oh, if yeah. I uh, right, with that's after the attack. I can't re-roll it on this. Uh, where where are you inserting the Wakanda re-roll? The second attack. That's what I was asking. I understand. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That's okay. So, uh, yeah, all right, I'll I'll go for it. So I'll try to force out the tactics card by rolling a die here. Re-roll this okay. blank. Skull. Womp womp. Okay. So... So the throw happens... I throw you into... Oh, so... Yes. No, yes. the throw happens so before... I take the automatic damage. point. Yep. yep. So Thor needs to dodge now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And theoretically, I could brace, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, so yep. Thor blocks one, takes two. Yep. And then I will take the three. Okay. So then I gain three. Yep. I feel like I can't afford to leave her loaded up on power, basically. Without Shuri's ability to do Wakanda forever, do I just punch her into Thanos again and roll with it? And then maybe I spend a Wakanda reroll on that, drop down to two power, and I have enough power to portal somebody and bow somebody? That might be the right call. That's kind of what I'm thinking, looking at the board. What are my options for portaling and bowing? So, I mean, Thor's going to have a bunch of power now, right? Maybe I bow him backward somewhere, and then I can even portal him further away. And then he's like, what do I do? I just guess I just move twice back into the scenario? Or move once and try to four Asgard someone? It limits his ability to get back in. Yeah, he's he's definitely threatening to four Asgard onto Enchantress to throw Sherry into <clears throat> Sherry. I think that um, I would do not displace him or take him out. I and think... part of my decision making up until this point was about preserving him to do that. Mm. Well, regardless, I think that I need to try and guarantee putting Enchantress into the dirt. So maybe I take a second swing at her anyway and see how that shakes out. And then we figure out Wakanda forever after the fact. Yeah. So let's load up six dice. I'm not going to spend this time. Because yep. I want to keep that portal online just in case. I only need to do one. So I get my four here. Well, you just need a wild, even. Yeah. Well, I didn't get you, that. I got a crit. I am blocking two so far. Blocking two. Nope. Wakanda? So she lives. Yep. Uh. Wakanda reroll. Yep. To one wild. Nope. No. Son of a bitch. <sighs> I mean, it's not ideal, but it's dice. Yeah. Uh, Wakanda forever? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out with who. Because I know... Well, I mean, it has to be... okoye has got to try and put her down, right? So they didn't bring advanced R&D. Uh, Sherry could. Oh, Sherry's out of power. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, that's why you should have held the reroll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, right? Um, that, that sorry, was... I was dumb. I forgot that. So I, at some point, I put it in my head. 
oh, you can use that reroll because you're just going to get the power back for paying for Wakanda Forever <laughs> by doing her Wakanda Forever attack. Yeah, but you need something and then to I start it. I thought about the relative order, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to rewind and say that I did that instead? Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 yeah, let's say you held the reroll. Yeah, okay. So I'll, yeah. the only thing that changes is that I put a power on Shuri at this point. Yeah, yeah. And Thanos still flubs this, right? Yep. Which is crappy, but it is what it is. And then before yep. I decide on Thanos' stuff, I think I want a Wakanda. Yep. And I probably just pay for it with everybody. Because, you know, at the least, yep. I can Spear Blast with a Koye and she just gets that refunded. Yeah, and I think you start with a Koye here. Because um, right. you want to hold Shuri's attack for the potential upside on Thor. Yes. That'd be even better. So I pay for it with each of the three Wakandas. And I'm going to start yep. with uh, Okoye into... Enchantress. Oh my god, do I death decree it? <laughs> no. No, I want that for control. Four dice, come on. Not bad. Two. Real bad. You've already got her. Nice. Nice. Pop. Okay. Pay, get one back. Um, yeah, like you said, the next one is... Uh, I mean, it's pretty much a no-brainer that I'm gonna go into Medusa, right? Because pushing yep. pushing um, Angela doesn't get her where I want her, basically. So I yep. think this just happens now. Um, it's spreading out your power a bit, but I think it's fine. Let's roll with the panther. Not great, panther. But that's okay. No block here anyway. with the re-roll hanging, but you do yours first. Um, you have one auto reroll, but that's it. Yep. Uh, I'm actually okay with not damaging you. Okay. So I think I just push you. Yep. Uh, I don't get the blocks, so I take the damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that works. I get my one back. Yep. I don't want to push you too far over there because I don't want to interfere with sending Thor to the cornfields. Then on to Thor, I assume? Yeah, I think that's probably optimal and my choices are a little limited. Yep. Yeah. Six dice into Thor. No blocks. Oh, man. Thank God it's against Shuri. Uh, <laughs> so he takes one. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm back. He gets pushed. So let me try and just dial this in a bit here think that I'm fine with doing it on that line because that means that he hits the car and yeah 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 doesn't and then you're fast. just going to mind portal him right yeah so go, go ahead and place him at range far and then move him short unless you really want to go through the motions of the measurements I need to practice this right so he bumps yep, the car there that's fair that's within three yeah <clears throat> now you're still within three you're going to bow him to range four. Yep. Oops. Also, like, going through the motions is helpful for other members of the community if they're watching this. So. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I can even bow him over the other side of the car, can I? Because he just walks. Yep. Up. Um, I think just away from stuff is probably even better. So, yeah, I think that's about as good of an angle as you're going to get. Yeah, we walk him over there, and then we spend the last two Thanos has, and we teleport him to further away. Enjoy that car. I have bought you a sedan. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's 
nine gem portal. That's the end of his activation. I think there's nothing left for him. To Thank do at this point. God. Okay. Yeah, he really is a monster, isn't he? So how does that look? How does what work? No, how does that look? Like from the Good opposite luck. side of the table. Uh, it comes down to how much I can do right now. We'll see. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off with. Uh, Thor leadership healing himself because mm -hmm. good leaders take care of themselves first and I don't know <laughs> why it thinks I'm a force right now but that's amusing mm -hmm. um, I think it might, uh, it might choose to... alphabetically as you're setting up your roster card and you had enough a force characters to make it work and that comes before Asgard yeah, that just might be it um, I'm going to bitter rivals off of Angela mm-hmm on to good old Thanos. Since Speaking of, when I was attacking gone. Medusa, did you roll three dice or two? Two. Yeah. Okay, cool. She rolled two blanks and then re-rolled into nothing got it, burger. Got it, got it. <laughs> nothing burger. Um, and the bitter rivals went on to my Thanos. Got it. Yep. Yeah, he's good. He's not and moving. And then Angela's going to go. <clears throat> She's going to start off by slapping the shit out of your Koya and doing a little bit of prayer. <laughs> I got a skull. Three successes. Um, uh, remember I, to roll one less die. Right. Um, and regardless, I can't do that. I mean, like, I can't live. Right? Well, re-roll with two die, because if you crit, it might sure. matter. No. Two blanks. Okay. So you so. go down. I'm going mm -hmm. to spend that power to immediately Angelic Assassin. <clears throat> um... But I am going to layer it a little bit differently. So I'm, I'm going to do the placement and then the move. Yep. Uh, can I short move onto the point if I go over here? I think it will. I'm not even sure if I can clear Black Panther space. Okay, no. There's yeah, no that's going to be real tight. So I have to go around this way. I, I mean, I'm going to get the placement off of the attack anyways. So, um, so I'm just going to move short. Mm-hmm. It uh, doesn't matter. I'm just going to attack um, your Shuri. Okay. Um, well, where do you want to move her first? Yeah. You got plenty. Somewhere in this butt crack, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm just going to place on the point after I attack. Mm hmm Or maybe, maybe I stay in here because it forces you to use Enchantress to get rid of me rather than Shuri herself. We'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. But so six into your two. Oh right, because fucking bitter rivals. Yep. What a great card. Oh, I got one. Four. Okay, so I'll take three. Yep, I get three power. I guess I could have spent one on rerolls. I'll oh, well. teleport over to here. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. That's not how we're going to do it. I'm going to teleport over to here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend two to throw that uh, uh, a little bit closer because I want to make sure I can attack uh, Enchantress depending on how this goes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to spend two to throw the size four truck at Enchantress. Would you like to brace? I mean... It doesn't kill her outright, right? It's it's like it's real garbage, and I really do want to brace, but I feel like it's the wrong decision because it's not going to kill her outright. Oh, maybe the it thing is... is it opens up. Yeah, but Angela then yeah you off. yeah exactly. How much power does she have after that? One, so she can't pay for the discount. Is right. part of the problem. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I force you to attack into my one into my one health character and at the full well it would be four right five minus one four defense but i have shuri rerolls now if you can do that one damage with your last attack unfortunately that puts you exactly at two to get your um to get your next I can't angelic, angelic assassin. assassin again no, no you cannot Okay, I think that seals it. I think that I don't brace. 
So I'll roll the two dice. Yep. So dodge against five damage. <sighs> yeah. Good decision is good. All right. Um, that would still give me two. I might as well pay for a reroll. Yep. Because now it's going real well. Okay. That's okay. So, block three, take two. Okay. Yeah. That worked out very well for me. Hot sec. Mm-hmm. So key in that equation was that he can't do an angelic assassin twice. The superpower yep, can only yep, be used yep, once so... per turn. Yeah, yep. I had not remembered that part of the card, so that's a good Thank note. God, if she could do it multiple times, ugh. Um, I'm going to hit Shuri insane. again. Okay. Can't do anything about that. Roll two dice. Roll two dice, get wrecked. That's the whole. Uh, just two successes. Oh. Um... Uh, I'm gonna. Das I'm gonna fist. pay for a reroll. Yep. <laughs> yeah, zero. Yep. So no damage. You're perfectly fine. Now you place on then... the point. Yeah. Yeah, you can backstop against the fountain temporarily. So. Yep. <clears throat> and that will be. Angela. And yeah, that's real awkward because now your um, your uh, bitter rivals character is just way over here, and I don't love that. But I can just put her back anytime I want her, right? Want her anytime I want to, right? Not quite. You don't have clearance to go through uh, the button, so you have to do it the awkward way, which is what I was looking for. Yeah, no, you placed her well. Um, There seems like there's maybe an angle where Shuri can just kind of send her over here, which might be okay. Not a bad play. Oh, I need a day's counter on my... Okay. <clears throat> so we're going even on priority again because we both dazed somebody before their activation. Um, keeping priority actually might be keeping me in this game right now. Weirdly. Did you carry yeah, disarm? so Thanos is being a bit of a weird puzzle. Right. I dropped disarm because okay. uh, I wanted R and D, which ended up being very helpful in yes. keeping score parity. <clears throat> yeah, hundred percent. What's important here? And you carried field dressing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So who has field dressing power? Thor. Yeah. Does he just walk up and field dressing your enchantress? That seems There's bad. a very real chance that that happens. Yeah, that seems bad for me. Can I do anything about that? Unfortunately, I don't think I can get him onto the point, but I guess Medusa can pull him onto the point. <laughs> that bitch. If I recall correctly, Shuri is not in range of anyone who isn't Angela, so you might as well go with Shuri right now just to see what happens. Unless you really want to screw with what Thor or Medusa is going to do. I like keeping her open right now because my thought is if you do some weird nonsense where you're like, I'm going to move Thor up to here and wait, I can threaten to push you away with Shuri and make that an invalid option, right? Because you can't mm -hmm. afford to just leave him there and try to field dressing the next turn because he'll be gone. Yeah. And, like, pretty sure her range 5 is probably enough to cover everywhere within 2 of her. Probably. That he can, like, uh, legally span, stand. I'm Maybe not. I can go, like, here and be fine. Yeah, I'm safe here. Yeah. Though, that's not really where you want to be at the end of his activation, you know? Because you can't even royal decree him far enough at that point, I don't think. 
Maybe uh, can, range know. two off of his base to Medusa to range one. Maybe it plus his there. base again to there. I'm almost 100 percent certain I can get him onto the rubble, uh, onto the center shelter. Okay. Hmm. But your call, because like Black Panther maybe is better as a reactive piece because he can like go up and like punch Thor away. Yeah. I don't know. It depends on what you're feeling. I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. I already did all of the things that I know how to do, which is punch stuff with Thanos. What do you expect from me? <laughs> punch right. stuff with other people? Yeah. Let's get it. So here's a weird one. What if I use Enchantress and just get her in the middle of the table where she can kind of throw her weight around a bit? And I can get within three there, which is good. I don't damage my own Okoye. Right. And unfortunately, your Okoye would be out. I mean, does she search for the Creek Core? <laughs> I can just sap power from your Medusa. It's not really gaining me anything. I do really want to just kind of put her back within range of people in the center of the board, so maybe it scares you away from being over there, you know? Um, the other option is just to kind of put you over here. And then... Oh man, I really gotta get Thanos out of there. <laughs> he just keeps taking that gamma damage. Um, maybe I put your Enchantress or your Angel over here, and then like... If Thor moves back to this position, maybe he's still within range 3 of Angela, and that's not great for him. Or if you're a bit of rivals person, and that's not super great for him. You know? This is always the problem with control. There's so many options. Right. Yeah, this is why unpacking what you need to do in a control and a control matchup is important ahead of time. So you can know kind of what your options are and how things play out. So I will say the upside of holding um, Enchantress yeah. Yeah. is that uh, Okoye is probably going to be my next stalling move. Um, and if uh, if you hold Enchantress, then I can't move her forwards and like try and shoot Black Panther to see if I get some free kill. Yeah. Uh, I just have to leave her behind there, killing. I think maybe Okoye is the way to go. I mean, not Okoye. Uh, Shuri is the way to go here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll go with Shuri, and I will do some. You know, it's really fun when you can pull it off. Magnetic crush with uh, or sonic crush with um, Death's decree, especially when she does it on wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven dice. Blah. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah, I crushed Magneto with it one game. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's do my six die attack into Angela yep. with uh, Shuri here. Because this also builds power to keep people alive in the bubble, right? Yep. That's better done early in the turn, I think. Two blocks so far. Strategies. Ooh, got my skull. Okay, so I take a damage. Mm hmm. Get a power. Push me. <laughs> and then just yeah, push you push me it. So I can get my satisfaction. <laughs> I can get my Wakanda pushes. Wakanda faction? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright, this gets weird. I don't think you're making it all the way past the bench because of where the fountain is, so we're just gonna have to live with that. Huzzah. Well, that probably means the second push can't be that impactful either. Oh my god, I think she moves past it. Yeah. Good to me. Good job, sir. That was, uh, like I said, I play by sense of smell. <laughs> and I guess I just push her again, because that's my only target, and I don't really want to walk. That's fair. Oh, did well, you remember to roll five dice? I did not. Um, any one of those coming off? Um, well, you know what? Doesn't I guess, matter. Yep. Yeah, I guess no, it no, doesn't matter fine. only for rolling the skull. That's the only valid change in yeah. the results, right? Do you want me to reroll? 
Well, let's just do it for the sake of accuracy, because like sure it, it shouldn't matter. You're right. Or the other. It's all good. If I don't get a skull, I'll just subtract power. I got one anyway. You get a skull. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you do the damage and you uh, get the skull. All good. Um, so now we're on to my second attack. Yep. Five. Alright, so one crit, one hit, and skulls. Oh, that's what I was checking. I got distracted. Yeah, like I'm still in an okay position to protect my whole team here with Shuri where she's standing. So I don't need to really move her. Four blocks. Hell yeah, no damage. No damage this time, but push me. Mm-hmm. I think I can get away with that. Looks good. Yeah, I mean, she's pretty far out there, so. We built some power. Um, I'm dressing. Did I add the power for that last attack? I don't think I did. I just see dice rollers the last uh, thing, so I think I have to add the two power. Cool, cool. Um, Okoye is going to sit in place and be done. Mm -hmm. Oh, I used my Wakanda forever. I have to flip that over. Yep. How afraid of this am I? <laughs> Not that afraid. I don't want to go all the way across the field for it. But... I can come out to here, and if I can build power off of beaming your Medusa, then I can, which, which I know is a guarantee, um, I can maybe get a field dressing threat. But alternatively, I could take that movement, and like maybe I can make it to here, be within range one, and bow her. And that gets real weird for you, right? I don't think you're going to get within one of this game of shelter. I'm already seeing, like, bits of fudging, like, with yeah. your eyeballing there. Yeah. And it already looks out. So I don't think you can get to the game of shelter, but taking a quay off it, maybe that's worth it. Yeah, I mean, it's just a net gain of a point, right? So yeah. if we get a little bit better about the fudge measurement, right? Because that's about range, medium walk, and their base, more or less. Yeah, and you would need to be two I inches. Would need to displace it to like. Where's the shadow at? There we go. You you would have to get to like here. You're. Yeah. yeah so I don't think I make it. Short. I don't yep. think I make it. But. I mean, Medusa doesn't love being behind the building, right? I can One probably. Second, my dinner just arrived. Sure, no problem. I'm back. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, so this is weird too. I think I would just have to I think I would have to double move her regardless if I wanted to bow your Okoye. And all it's gaining you is one point. Um and I think that maybe Panther can eventually get there. Maybe not. Um I would have to climb the building. That seems shitty. Unless I were to, like, he's got two power, right? So I guess I could pounce, climb, push you and score? Maybe? That seems pretty close. Pounce to there. 
Um, yeah, I was looking that earlier, but I, I was not confident that you had an angle. Yeah, I mean, it would require the pounce first, and then I walk up onto the building to, like, here to contest it, and then push her off. And that could be a good late activation. Um, meaning I don't really like putting Enchantress directly in front of him. You know what I mean? Still, yeah. she's got to be there to score the middle, so... I think trying to get her into position to be able to... Uh, beam and bow your Medusa might be the move I take here. I, I'm struggling to grasp any other options mm -hmm. that are like not going to commit me to losing a bunch of crap. Uh, this one. All right, so I'm gonna unclip this because I need to dial this in a bit better. As a heads up, sorry, I'm slightly distracted. I uh, managed to get a hunk of glass in my foot. Oh no! To get it out. Are you okay? Do you need? Do you need first? Do you need to talk to somebody? Do you need an adult? No, no I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. I, I hope just, you're actually okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to dig it out with some pliers. Nice. What the hell have you been walking on? West Coast is weird, man. <laughs> I think I got it about as best as I can. Nice. Really annoying. Yeah, I mean, it's like needle shaped, so it's like <laughs> oh, that's it not does good. not want to come out. That's like a splinter. It's like the perfect size to avoid being yanked. Yikes. Okay. What you got? Um. Show me what you got. <laughs> I like what you got. So here's a complication, right? My plan was to pounce forward with Panther to climb to within range and contest. Where I've just mm. positioned her base mucks that up. Is it better to just move a bit forward to get out of range of that and guarantee the bow onto, like, take a second I, I, I think this play is potentially, like, unnecessarily aggressive with Black Panther. Okay. Because if you win the center, you win the game. <clears throat> Got like, it. nobody's scoring the extracts. You just need to be up on Gamma. And the difference between going here and ensuring here is 1vp. For a mm. lot of risk. Yeah, okay. I see. All right. So like, if you were in danger of, like, getting scored out on or, like, needed a catch-up or something... But we're sure. tied, so it's But, fine. yeah. I don't exactly. need to push that risk and expose myself, my character. So I do a four-dice beam into her because I'm still debuffed under bitter rivals. Yep. And it hits a Koi, but it doesn't matter. Woo, crit. Three blocks. No need for a reroll. Okay. Um, I get to sap one. Oh, I do want to roll in that crit. Do you have more than one power? You do. Uh, yes. Let me roll in that crit, just in case. Uh, nope. no. And I don't think it's worth a re-roll. So I'll sap your one, and then I gain one yep. from the beam. So it puts me to five. Yep. Um. It seems like an excellent opportunity to bow her away. Restrict her mobility. Seems legit. Yeah. Um, I think I like that better than field dressing. I think I want to save that in case Thanos goes down randomly. I mean, it's just a Koye, right? It's just a two-threat. Yeah. Just a Koye. Best two-threat. All right, bow on your um, Medusa. Oh, yep. her hair's in the way again. <laughs> Send her back. Um, hopefully not within range two of Thor. Let's get that free place. And well, she wouldn't have the power anyways without doing something. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you're capable of. <laughs> that's fair. I got to respect the option. All right. Uh, I think that's going to be her. I don't, there's no one else to bow, so. I guess I'll just sit on it. Yeah, sit <clears throat> on it. Yeah. Wait, could she throw characters? Um, no, just terrain, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Enchantress? Correct. Yeah, just terrain. Medusa can throw characters, though. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to move up, and she's going to slap your Enchantress. Mm -hmm. Slap the Enchantress, man. So I've got four dice because Bitter Revels? Yep. In hindsight, I think maybe using Bitter Revels onto Medusa would have been better. Because she's less mobile. Yeah, because, yeah. That's all you used to do. 
Oh, yeah. that didn't actually roll. I was so excited for a second. Huh. Nope. Uh, so three successes so far with a re-roll hanging. I do my re-rolls first. Yep. No, so three successes. Into my zero. Um, I'll pay for a Wakanda re-roll because she's probably taking damage. Yep. One block. It's one. Um, I can go for two with Shuri. She's pretty uh, yep. flush with cash right now. Cash money. I got another one. No, I didn't. That uh, looks like a crit. Nope. So just one, so I take two. Yep. I get two power. <clears throat> I get oh, to no. push you. I'm going to hold the push. Or <laughs> Actually, no. You're probably going down on the next attack. Yeah, could be. But I don't want to push you towards my Koi. That just seems fucking awful. <laughs> well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can yeah, you imagine? Uh, uh, medium push. Medium. Oh my god. Like, it's like she just straight up double staggers someone. Ugh, mm. Barf. Okay. And then I'm going to pay the two to discount you. Mm -hmm. So you're two dice now. Gotcha. Am I out of range of Thor? Or Thanos? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yep. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Oops. Two successes so far. One for me. Uh, three. Um, got to reroll or I go down, so Wakanda? Yep. Ugh. So, dead two. Dazed. Gain two power. <laughs> Not cool. Um, and then I believe. Was a Koya in range there? Hmm? Was no, a Koya no, within no. two? Okay. Uh, but I am going to take this opportunity to spend three mm -hmm. to throw Black Panther off the point mm -hmm. into no man's land. Hmm. <laughs> I was just thinking maybe I spend power to try and pick this thing up with Enchantress, but then, no. Yeah, and that will be Medusa, and then I will be right back. Last mm -hmm. time I'm going to step away, I swear. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is the worst. here he can push nine degrees so maybe that direction get her away she's not getting points this stupid enchantress would be If he does go with Enchantress, they just... is no boy now. Nope, that doesn't work either. We were not within two of each other previously, I don't believe. Yeah, well, no, I, I did a lateral like throw, so you might still be able to pounce <clears throat> in. I don't think so. It certainly looks layout to me. Alright, so I have only Panther to use. I'm hyper concerned about Thor waking up Enchantress and her moving everyone off because she can, and that's dumb, and you absolutely will do that. I don't think I have a agency to stop that, though, from what I can tell. Unless you see something I don't. No. 
the problem was Th Thor and Enchantress were the only meaningful parts of this. Um, Enchantress is dazed, so she doesn't matter. Um, and Thor doesn't. goes after literally all of your characters have gone. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. So, knowing that you're probably just going to be bowing me off of everything, like it just takes six power and you've got eight loaded up. Um, I don't know how to process the best choice here. So maybe you can help me with that. Because anywhere I put Panther, he's not going to stay, right? Presumably. Is there um, anywhere is there relevant? a point where you can be on the point outside of three of Enchantress? It looks like yes. So then that, I guess, matters. That is potentially attractive. Because um, it forces you It won't you necessarily to... stop me. Right, but it forces but you to But it's probably going to cause me to double move. Well, I was planning on moving on to the home game of Shelter anyways, because it's three VPs. Um, but if you force me to double move, that means I can't get a random beam in. Right. So I'm barely certain if I just go medium, I like straight at the uh, gamma shelter. Especially once Shuri's no longer in the way, I'm fairly certain that makes me there. It's kind of close. I maybe I have to double move anyways. I think you have to double move anyways, which again. But I very much like punching Angela and then moving towards something scenario relevant, forcing me to beam. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was punch Angela, move here, or move, like, as far here as possible, and then maybe push Medusa even further out. But I don't think that's relevant, because she's not scoring anything. At least pushing Angela further away gets this monster away from my base. I think maybe you're already taking damage. I can't quite tell. Get that point on the gamma shelter. It's gone. I'm going to move this rubble. We know where it is. What was I doing? Gamma shelter range two. Um, oh, she might be in. Yeah, she's in. Yeah. So I think that I just... Yeah, I mean, getting free damage on Angela is probably the best choice. So I think I'll attack her with Panther. Five dice. Yep. Because I'm no longer near Thanos, right? Uh, three blocks so far. Cool. Angela just doesn't give a shit. Four blocks. I mean, I can reroll two. Um, it's probably worth using Shuri's power for that if she's in range. There we go. Oh yeah, got it. Sure. Um, I would need to hit two, right? One, two, three, four blocks? Yeah. yeah. No, that's not not reliable. Not worth it. Exactly. I think just straight to the board side is fine. As long as you're out of one on the scenario objective and you're as far away from, like, my home base as possible, it's fine. Yeah, that's the perfect play. And we move. Some more over in Checking my range 3 measurements. So I just have to be on the left side, basically. Um, I think maybe I use one power to try and pick that up. Yep, might as well. Two dice. Nice. Okay. No no dice there. Um, and we're done his activation. Did I tell you... I, I don't think I told you this. The uh, Every time I played Alien Ship with this roster, like, in an actual match that matters, um, mm -hmm. Panther has just randomly grabbed the Kree Core on in a turn that he makes an attack, like, early in the game. And it's like, okay, I guess this is going to be this game now. <laughs> Panther runaway time. <clears throat> Three wins. 
I can dig it. Like, I had Thanos with a reality gem loaded up, ready to go pick it up or search for it. Panther's like, nah, I got this. Hmm. Okay, well, Thor's going to do what he promised he was going to do. Mm hmm. Dirty scumbag. Tools aren't working. God, and you still have Odin's blessing. I'm gonna riot. Yeah, in retrospect, I think I should have spent the brace to make it way harder to take out Enchantress. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. I was flirting with the idea of holding brace for Thor. Yeah, I mean, you don't necessarily know what was happening for the rest of the turn, right? And we're both trying to hold our cards <laughs> as close as possible, I think. Yeah. Nice. Get in there. Um, okay, no, I'm not going to be greedy. I almost got greedy and uh, for Asgard did it. <laughs> okay, if I could have gotten BP, that might have been interesting. But since I can't, mm. and I wouldn't have been able to know at the time anyways. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to spend the four. Mm-hmm. To heal Enchantress. God, it's the worst. Undaze her. <clears throat> oh, and during my Asgard leadership window, I'm going to uh, Asgard heal Angela. Okay. Um, and so, unfortunately, that'll be Thor. Mm hmm Unfortunately. Um, let's see. Enchantress... Since it looks like I can't single move onto the point. Enchantress, is, so I'm going to start off by Asgard healing her. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to triple <clears throat> bow and double move. Mm -hmm. So moving to here. But not inside Thanos, because I'm not <laughs> the end. Um, I'm going to bow Black Panther. Yeah. Why the fuck are my things not coming up? It could just be a lag, a lag thing. No, it's like inconsistent. It's like every once in a while the numpad won't work, and then all of a sudden uh, the numpad will work, but my top row won't work. <clears throat> Do and you I have, have both, both of the key? Okay, that yeah, yeah. they might be interfering with each other. I don't know how that works. Uh, Big Daddy T is going to go right down this way. So in retrospect, is... would it be worth it to have you have bowed Thanos earlier just so you could get a better position with where she wanted to stand? Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to walk on to this point. And I have flying so I can go straight through this thing. Yeah. Um, and since I think I want to be relatively close to the fountain to kind of limit LOS slash give cover. And if you really want to dig me out of there, you're going to use Thanos anyways. To like portal and gem me, so it doesn't super matter on the details. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that's going to be her. Yep. And then I score 40 or none. Fuck. <laughs> doesn't feel good. Well, the problem is you got Pryo. Yeah. All right. Auto I'll press automatically. Uh, and um... then Angela takes Gamma. Thanos takes Gamma. Fury takes Gamma. Your Enchantress takes Gamma. Your Black Panther takes Gamma. So actually, your whole team takes Gamma, except for Akoye. <clears throat> Garbage. Um, Enchantress was dazed. <clears throat> so, she's not getting... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I completely blinked on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, so I did the Gamma damage, and I'll do Power Phase. Yep. <clears throat> and then your go. I mean, I think that at this point, it's probably fine to wait on using Thanos because I don't know how much I can gain from just one like attack. I think that I need to use this po this chance with him to to really move him within two. <clears throat> to 
to make sure I, you know, just to try and freaking stay there, you know? Yeah. I mean, maybe Okoye goes and just tries to manhandle Thor. <clears throat> I would not recommend that. Yeah. I have Odin's blessing. You're not going to take him out. And if you give me an activation window to do <clears throat> stuff, very bad things are going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't have a lot the of way I see it, you must deal with Enchantress <clears throat> or Medusa with your first activation, or something very bad is going to happen to you. Yeah. After that activation with Enchantress, I can't afford to let her live. You know, if exactly. I can get around it. Um, the problem is that it, it's guaranteed to take two attacks to bring her down, right? Because she's got three power already? <clears throat> yep. I mean, it feels like hot garbage, not going to lie. Yeah, I, I think th there's a play where you just say, okay, sure, he is going to die unless I portal her later on in the round if it makes sense, and you just double tap my Enchantress. Because I think you can clip her into the bench or the fountain. Mm -hmm. And you just need to do one damage each time, but it is five dice with cover against you six, so a bit risky. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't love bringing Panther back, but maybe the answer is pouncing into her. I have Brace. That won't work for you. Yeah, you're right. I was just about to say that as soon as it left my mouth. <clears throat> yeah, it's death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, it's a really crappy position, I think. Um, not exactly sure how to handle it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just go for Shuri. <clears throat> I think the play is you use your Enchantress to bow Thor and Medusa into a double beam. Okay. Because then you pull Thor down, which makes it harder for him to support the Enchantress. You get some attrition. Maybe you take out Thor or uh, Medusa. I mean, with Odin's Blessing, but you just need to do two damage twice to Thor. Mm -hmm. And he goes pop. Yeah, just kind of get him as far away as possible. I do love double beam. <clears throat> do love balance. And make sure to leave a line to throw. Because she does have a train throw. Yeah, I can grab this uh, lamp post for a pittance of damage. But it, does, it could force a brace if you're on one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think she throws short, right? Throw it medium. Nice. Yeah. It's very solid, except for the fact that it doesn't work on characters, but that's completely understandable when she has a bow. Yeah. She's got plenty of other shit to do. Um, okay. I'll play this game. I didn't love the Shuri activation. I definitely prefer this, I think, just in terms of a uh, gut feeling. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go with that. So we'll activate Enchantress. Mm -hmm. um, pay to bow. <clears throat> it's fine. It's out in the middle of nowhere, I guess. And I mean, my enchantress will take a point, but whatever. <coughs> if I somehow get flush, I can. Um, yeah. Uh, just do the beam, I guess. I could explode a bunch of wilds. There's nothing else I can really do ahead of time to empty the power bank, so just roll it. Five dice. Thor first. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think it really matters. <clears throat> just one block. Hmm. It's gonna do more. You've already for forced the brace. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so four, he's gonna five. brace that. 
You mean Odin's? Yeah, yeah sorry. Um, so, prior... Uh, sap is prior to damage, right? Oh, so I can't even. No. You just got him. Right? Okay, cool. Because I sap that one power, you go down to two, and then you just take five... You have to eat the five damage, right? Or four remaining damage? Yeah, because yeah, you only rolled one block. Nice! So I take three. One power, one sap. And how much do you sap? Again, one sap? Yeah, one wild. That's all. That's all I needed. Yep, that's perfect. That's <clears throat> going to be so huge for you. Yeah. Uh, and then on to Medusa? Correct. No, uh, one block. Um, so I'm looking at two saps and four damage overall. How much else does she have? Um, so that would take yep. three, but you have a reroll. That could deal two damage. That's fine. I'm not really trying to kill her, but I guess it would be nice. It would be helpful. Yeah, I'll put in a Wakanda reroll. I've got a million power, so... <clears throat> um... Oh, wait, no. Why would I do that? I can't. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it just... Uh, no rules. I'm good. And then you get your Medusa um, reroll. Yep. No. Alright, so 4 minus 1 is 3 damage, and I sap 2 yep. of your power. Uh, I only have one. Jesus, she's got ten. <clears throat> Alright, well, I just start bowing everybody, I guess. Um, and can I benefit from taking a move action to really shove that in? Um, I almost feel like just killing Medusa off is actually better. Okay. I can see it. It sets you up for a massive comeback turn. You're already going to be seeding Pryo to me unless something really wacky happens. So, yeah, so might as well just go for you it. You might as well do your spender and then Balakoye. Oh yeah, I forgot I had spenders with this character. <laughs> oh my god, it's only three. What the hell? Um, range three. Yeah, she's in range three. Let's do um, Enthrall on your uh, Yep. Your Medusa. <clears throat> It's, what, six power? Seven. Seven dice. I think it's the first time I've rolled this attack, actually. I usually just beam stuff and walk stuff. Alright, that's not ideal, but I got a crit. Uh, I think that's lethal unless I re-roll into a success, anyways. Which I don't. Okay. Four? Uh, so she goes pop. Um, do the conditions matter? Um, uh, no, because I don't have field dressing anymore. Yeah. And it's after the attack is resolved for both of them, so it doesn't matter. Yep. She doesn't even get him. That's two actions. Then we bow... Okoye? Um, yeah, just backwards. Yep. I mean, either way, you're getting back no problem, so... Maybe I'll put you somewhere weird. I don't know. <clears throat> um, five power remaining on her. I guess I just hang out. Yeah, your enchantress okay. is not in range, right? No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, she's done. Call it a day. <clears throat> okay, my enchantress is gonna go. She's gonna try and yeet your shuri. Mm hmm. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah. Be gone. Thought. <laughs> Uh, just a while. You're fine. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I do sap the power. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to. Hmm. How greedy am I? I just need to do one fucking damage. You throw that bench. Do you have power? Uh, with the medium, I'm just barely at range three. I don't think I can actually hit you. Oh yeah. Okay. Basically, it comes down to, do I want to do my spender or risk that my builder can do it just so I can bow your employee? I'm going to do my spender just to be safe because mm -hmm. I'm not feeling great right now. Um, so seven dice in tier three. Not bad. Oh, I, I got I got the, the stat. Oh, my God. Survive. Uh, one, two, 
I could get one reroll, yeah, so re-roll three. but no. I can't beat it. So I'll just take the one. Um, and I'll be done with skulls. enchanters. Yeah, that's a big relief, I think. These two are dazed up here. Angela's a mess, but she doesn't have character di displacement, right? Mm -mm. Nor does Okoye, so right now I'm sitting pretty. pretty. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a big comeback turn. How do I maximize that? You can get Panther around the side to there. I think Panther's fine to wait. I think my play might be a Koye. <clears throat> Talk about committal moves. I'm like, hey, do I just move a Koye to your home gamma shelter? But I don't think that's likely to pay off. How much power does she have? Three? Dang. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's real weird. <sighs> also, that gets super awkward. No, it's okay, though. I think I have to wait with her, with a clay. Maybe I just try to rip your uh, enchantress off now with um, Thanos. Can at least punch her away and move back to where I'm not taking gamma damage. You know, moving Panther definitely gets me out of range of your Angela, but then maybe Enchantress just dies to Angela. I can't let you score my back point, so she absolutely has to go. That's priority number one. And then I have to get somebody there, probably. So maybe Thanos just needs to move and bite off that bullet because he's hard to displace and he's hard to kill. I don't hate this. <clears throat> but moving him later allows me to displace more, including my own characters. So I think maybe we wait. And do Panther. It doesn't get me anywhere because you can just double move back and that's fine. And then you can test it just very easily. Um, I was thinking <coughs> of walking up. Um, maybe there's a place I can get to where I can be within two of you. Um, I mean, he's already got two powers, so I can guarantee getting within two, pushing him away somewhere, and then pouncing onto the objective. But that doesn't really achieve anything for me. And I'm sitting right next to these two, which got loaded up. They don't see me right now, but they Thor can just freaking throw the building at him. Well, next round. Yeah, yeah, next round, of course. Um... This is awkward. I was thinking of a line of play where Okoye waits until I am able to shoot someone, like if Angela comes in further, and then I have power to field dressing Shuri. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think you want to try and score big right now because I'm going to wreck your shit next round. Yeah. So... How do I do? How do I maximize that? Oh, right, like. Do yeah, I... you want to try and score the full six and maybe take a shot at picking up the alien ship or the core, because mm -hmm. that would definitely change things a fair bit. Um, something you need to think about is you don't necessarily need to take out Enchantress. You just need to get her off the point. 
for yeah. like sparring purposes, but you do want somebody to be standing on this point. <clears throat> so uh, there's a reasonable case for sending a Koye back to here because Thanos is probably the person you want here. So the problem is where does Angela go? So Black Panther does seem like the natural kind of waiting move. And I think your play of pushing Koye back going onto here and essentially forcing me to just double move Koye back onto the point to tie you and have you threaten to send your Koye to here and send Thanos to here is fine. Oh, you mean As use well, Black Panther it's... now and wait on yeah. Koye? Okay. Yeah. All right. I like, it. I like it. Let's do it. Oops. Don't turn her. I mean, I might already be in one. No, nice. Okay. Yep, you are. All right. Well, um, punch. <laughs> I don't think I bother getting my reels in because I like having power. I guess. That's fair. And I'm not really trying to daze her. Well, you're not going to because I rolled two crits in the initial. Well, you know, can't have everything you ask for in life. Right? Four blocks. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, so we'll do a push, and I gain no power. Seems mm -hmm. good. Good job, Akoye. Oh, come on. Listen to me. Obey me. It's directly away from the gamma shelter. I think it's fine. Alright, okay. Panther. Good job. Do exactly what you need to do every turn because it's automatic. It's really good. I'm going to do what I forgot about earlier and Asgard leadership enchantress. Mm -hmm. So it's slightly less hard. Mm. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, I, it, it doesn't like super affect your odds if you try and kill her. But if you send Thanos over and fail to do the wild, it's better. Yeah. Um, Okoye is just going to double move back onto the point. Yep. And actually, I guess she'll go in between black... Oh, God. Oh, God. Black Panther <laughs> got sucked into my nightmare bullshit vortex because of... <laughs> quote-unquote, smart. <clears throat> sure. So yeah, I, I just want to wedge her in more annoying for you to get good pushes. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah, so I think here, so I'll still have a throw line on you if I go that route, but... Yep. Yeah. And that'll be her. Yeah, I don't love it, but I am still holding brace, so it's probably okay. <clears throat> and now I think I want to save my control for last, just in case you double move Angela somewhere. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> yeah. So you definitely stall with the Koye here. Uh, I think you're... So you either send her onto the home point, so you can send Thanos into the middle, which is a little bit risky, considering Thor's just going to start, like, max out on power next round. Like, right in your face. Mm-hmm. But if you're willing to take that risk, um, Akoye, sending Okoye back and just gambling on Thanos, I think, is a pretty solid move. Um, alternatively, you can keep her there, interact with the point, shift over, and shoot Enchantress. And sure, she has cover, but you get a power. Maybe something happens. You know what else I can do? I can just roll for the core now and then decide how that looks, right? Like, step by step. Because if I get it, I don't really care about taking actually, one damage. So, yeah, so another play is to move, attack, or get the automatic power field dressing Shuri. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. But it leaves her in an awkward position, I guess. It, it leaves me not scoring the back point, necessarily. I guess maybe Shuri well, can score it. Shuri walks back on. <clears throat> Okay. And then she can single attack push my Enchantress off. Yeah, can I get line of sight to your Enchantress from where Okoye would end up? Oh, absolutely. And that probably puts her within two, so I think that's probably fine. We just need to make sure we don't leave this range too. Oh, golden. 
Um, so let me think about this because I don't know. I mean, I guess this gets me the points, but that just brings me back to parity. It doesn't necessarily win the game. Um, certainly helps, right? Concerned that giving up my field dressing on this play means I don't have it for what if Thor just wakes up and takes off uh, Thanos' head. That's fair. <clears throat> but leaving Akoya here instead of back here then means that maybe Thanos has a bodyguard, and that's real annoying. So I like that. And I think so just remember that you do have to upset the status quo, because the longer this game goes, the more my favorite it is. Okay. So if you don't get to 5-5 five five this round, or better, I think you're in trouble. Okay. I, I think then I have to guarantee the pushes, basically, and gamble on the dice later. So I know that it's in range either way. I might as well stay as close to forward as possible, right? Sure. So um, we're going to go and place the end this ruler, I think. And I can't pick it up because I need to guarantee gaining one power. Uh, oh, actually, I want to be a bit closer. Yep. Because I want to be able to move. Yeah. We're within two, so. <clears throat> um, so four dice into you. Okay. Five defense. I expect no damage. But I'll take it if I roll like that. Jesus. Uh, yep, so one damage. Mm hmm. I gain a power. I um, get a power. And then I wait on the field dressing because I don't think you can really displace her. I don't think Angela kills her. So, yeah, I'm going to wait. Yeah, I just moved it because it was getting nudged by the uh, characters. Yeah, yeah. I was just visualizing something. Um, Angela's going to go. Mm -hmm. um, I'll Asgard heal her because I've got the window. Mm -hmm. She's going to move up, interact, and depending on whether or not I get it, we will see what she does next. Mm -hmm. But I want to be on the inside so that if she fails to get it, I can single move onto the mid shelter and yep. try again. Makes total sense. <clears throat> So that'll cost me two. I keep on I, I keep on setting up the pool for energy. Okay, mm -hmm. yep, got it. Oh no. And yeah, that's, that's almost a... assuredly game. Yeah, I don't getting it uh, now. Was I run crucial. her away, and I have uh, a million health to play with. Yeah, no, so that's not great. Liter literally infinite. You just have to run me down because I can heal exactly as fast as it's damaging me. Or actually, no, because of um, gamma. If I don't make attacks, yeah. So I'm losing two and gaining one, but it'll still take a. It'll take more times, more turns than we have. Um, all right. So if I get the back one and the center one, I'm still not scoring yours. You would score three to my three. Alien ship is a three score, right? I'm not crazy. No, it's two. Okay, so three to my two. So it would be seven to four in my favor. Okay, but... And I'm going to wake up and I'm going to hard win the center. <clears throat> but what if... Um, Shuri goes here and pushes Enchantress. Um, Thanos, Thanos goes, goes here the and teleports Akoye off. Yeah, yeah, now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably the best move. Cause sure he yeah, needs... because then you score 6 to my 2 and it goes to 7-7 seven, seven tied, and it comes down to how well my activations go. Yeah, that gives me a chance to play, right? So we'll spend mm -hmm. 4 for the field dressing. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling off this and 1 point of damage. Uh, so if gonna... you were more ballsy, I didn't suggest this, but uh, Akoye paying two to punch Enchantress with her defense down mm -hmm. to try and get the field dressing and taking out Enchantress would have been cute. Yeah. Because it would have opened up a lot of fun plays. <laughs> you know what else is dumb? 
I could probably death's decree that attack. Ha 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 ha. I should have done that. Oh well. Yeah, that probably would have been a lot better. Oh well. Too bad. Um, we're moving. Yeah, okay. So I'll, I'll keep, an, keep an eye out for that. Yeah, you're right. I was so worried about just guaranteeing the power that I didn't even think about attacking her. Um, but yeah, if I could spend two of that power to go into Enchantress with, you know, even a basic attack to gain the power back and use a Death's Decree yep. on it, like, that would have been kind of ideal. But I wasn't sure where this turn was ending up, so. Um, mm -hmm. I think just tucking in next to Aquaria is fine. Yeah, and I think up until I picked up the ship core, you were fine with playing conservative. Right. So we'll do Panther Gauntlets here. Because you just met, you just Odin's Blessing and Magnetic, or a Sonic Crush, I think, right? Yep. So. 100%. Especially because you're not putting me off the point. Right. You're just like, whatever, fam. Although, I could just mind jam you with Thanos and just wreck you anyway. Or just get you off the point anyway, so. Yeah. Um, I okay, mean, so you do a point of damage, yeah. uh, roll to see if you get your skull. But... Oh, true, yeah. And I actually will get days to gamma damage. Cool. Since you're pushing me off. Game one power, not two. <laughs> I think I'm just going to move her straight away. I'm not going to bother with the tool. Cool, cool, cool. Thanos. Okay. Pretty sure I'm just moving twice. Okay. I don't think there's anywhere where you can stand where you'll be on the point and in a quiet bodyguard range if that's what you're trying to do. Really? I'm, I was hoping that I could tuck my back the back of my base here and still be within range one of that. Maybe you would have to move a fair bit laterally, though, because you would <clears> have to get to here while still having your base touching that. Maybe? It looks pretty good. We'll see. Ooh, go for it. I too like to live dangerously. Yeah. Is that another shadow? Are you placing with the tool? No, I was not strictly placing with uh, the tool. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, the the movement was weird. I was like, you, "Yep, you've got it. You had some wiggle room too." Sweet. Not bad. Did I f this up? Oh, she's in range four, right? I just have to spend. Yeah, four. that's the difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So spend two. Move you away. Just put you on the other side of Panther again. Yep. Yeah, because then he can just push you away. So sure. Um, yeah, no, I don't, ooh, I'm like, hmm. Okay, so what if I put you, like, right on top of Thor? Because then you can't throw the building at me. That's what I want. Okay. Alright, so you're outside of range one, so I can score it. <coughs> I don't really yep. care about doing chip damage to Okoye. Okay, sounds good. All right, um, final answer, Trebek. I mean, what? <laughs> and we're out of power, so we can't search. So we're just done. Go, boss. Okay. Um, well, that's going to be end of round, because I'm yep. done and you're done. Um, right, so we're going to go seven to seven. I get priority. Mm -hmm. Your intangible days uh, is in the cleanup phase. Yep, uh, just flipping her right now. And... Uh, my angel is going to take a power damage. Your enchantress was yeah, just barely. Uh, yep. Boop. And so she everyone takes else a point, is in. and that's it. Yep. Okay. And then automatic power phase. All right. Now we take a licking. That's the hole. You can keep on oh, and kicking. The rubble can go away now. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay well, Thor, Thor has to go. There's... Angela should be at two, right? She took one damage after the fact from the Kree Corps for not attacking, and then she took gamma damage? Uh, didn't she Asgard heal that, or am I screwing up my mouth? You Asgard healed her at the start of her activation. Yep. Both of those effects happen afterward. Yep, you're good. I thought I had done it after, but good call. Um... Okay, so I'm going to start with Thor, and I'm going to start by spending three mm -hmm. to, uh... Strong what's it called? Throw. Uh, I'm going to throw Thanos into Enchantress. Okay. Seems like a fine time to spend my brace. Yep. Are you going to spend it on both, or just, uh... One? I mean, I don't actually have to spend it on Thanos, right? He takes no damage from that? You are correct. Okay, so then the correct answer is I will not spend it on Thanos. <laughs> One here. Brace for impact. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and you used your throws, um, so that's fine. And then I'm going to four Asgard just onto the point. Mm -hmm. Try or to I'm stagger within me. range two of both of them, and okay. I'm going to attack Thanos. Yep. Because... I don't know about you, but I would love to stagger Thanos. Mm -hmm. mm. Crit, crit. Not great for me. Only two successes. All right. I um, think I've got a, a handy dandy Shuri that can help me out, right? Yeah, we're in Cool. Just barely. Um, oh, did it? Uh, yep. Yeah. I'll do three Shuri rerolls because yep. she's got plenty of power. Mm hmm. Oh, come on. Yeah. I can't... Wait. I can still prevent the damage, right? Because you only have two? Yeah. Spend one on Wakanda to reroll again. Yep. Come on, Thanos. Let's go. Wow, yeah. I, rolled, I rolled seven blanks in a row. <laughs> so take one damage, you Ugh. bastard, and get staggered. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I just needed one um, result on seven dice. Come on. <laughs> and then I'm going to attack Enchantress, but I'm going to spend the two to discount on her. Sure. I don't think I can do anything. I just have to roll yeah. two. Four successes so far with the wild. Okay. Five. So you take four damage and then... I can reroll um, that, right? I can reroll yeah, my go, Wakanda. Go. Yep. And I might as well, because that could save my life. Same result? Yeah. Mm -mm. Is there anything to actually throw me into? That's a million dollar question. Yeah, I think it might be past the building and the lamp by the time you turn it. <clears throat> oh, it's not going to hit. Yep, so I just have to send you out into the middle of nowhere, unfortunately. I don't think I can get you to hit the truck. Yeah, well, maybe. It's close. No, not quite. No. Close on counts on horseshoes and hand grenades. Yep. Um, I did four damage there, so I get four power. Mm-hmm. Goes, I'm gonna get. It's done. Oops. Wait, you did three damage. I thought one, two, three, four, five minus my one. Yeah, I have five successes, so four damage. Yeah. Oh, that actually does just. One. No, that actually just does daze her because she was. She took one damage from Gamma. She was at. She only has five HP. Oh, yep. Sorry, that wasn't Mark. She, um. Oh, or maybe it was. Oh, I keep on looking at my enchanters instead of yours. Oh, okay. That's where I was like... Because I'm so used this to is not adding up matches so, yeah. that I yeah, always on look at the left side of the screen for my opponent. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's excellent. I, Yeah. Woof. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, I needed that reroll to land, but no no worries. I can figure this shit out. Um, that will be a very happy Thor. Now go ahead. F. Jesus. Well, I can't deal with him, so...
And you got me off the damn point, too. <clears throat> That's how I like to roll. It's really annoying. Bit of control, bit of attrition, all luck. <laughs> Jesus, man. Is there a path to victory for me if Angela stays over there? Probably. Right? I just need to outscore you over here. I'm down a character, but now so are you because Angela's over there. Uh, that's assuming she doesn't come back and kill Black Paint. Sure. Go for it. <clears throat> I don't hate that matchup. Uh, with Okoye and Medusa... I have no idea what to do. Stagger is real bad. I don't think I can afford to move Thanos. Okay, I gotta punch something because I need power. I can punch Medusa. She's probably worth punching because she's got so much damage on her already. Or, I mean, she's got so much power on her already. A little bit more is not gonna do make much difference. Weirdly, I think Shuri just kind of dies if I don't double push Enchantress, question mark. And maybe even then she still dies. I guess I... No, that would restrict it enough that maybe you have to go into my bodyguard, basically. Oh, but I can't because I don't have the power. Fuck. <laughs> Barf. Where's that advanced R&D? I don't know what to do. Options are... Quay trying to dunk on somebody, but you just still Odin's blessing it. So the only person I can necessarily dunk on is Medusa. Maybe we just move to the center and give ourselves some more options in the center. But if you daze me in the back, that's really, really bad. So I can't afford that. So that's not an option. I think that, at the very least, double pushing Enchantress to the side of the board makes it so that you have to choose whether you, you want to try and, like, remove Shuri or just get back there. I don't think you can do both. You might just be able to... Uh, no, I definitely can't do both. I have a throw. Oh, yeah, I guess you can throw the bench into me. Shit. I have no idea to do with Thanos yet, so... Maybe I just leave him and you try to attack him some more and gain him some power. Can't shoot at Thor. Seems like trouble. What do you think? Uh, what's the move? Sorry, I've been I'm doing thinking... tech support on the side. Okay, no problem. I'm thinking Shuri into um, Enchantress to kind of put her over here after two pushes. Maybe giving you a difficult uh, choice. Yeah, and I will be within range five after the first one. Probably. Depending on the angle. I, I would check that before executing, just making sure. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Looks fine. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable play. It's probably going to end up with me double moving into a throw, in which case your Koye will get revenge. Yeah. But my point is that, like, if I move a Koye now to try and do something weird up here, I don't think that pays off. So this is probably Correct. the best move. So let's go six dice into her. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would you like to pay? Um, no. I don't think it matters. Probably better that I keep the damage off of you. Two blocks. Um. So no yeah, damage. But I gain two. Yep. And then push you push me. Do it again. <laughs> Cranked it. Gain two. You might take a damage from that one. 
It's like four hits. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm sorry. Two so far. This one doesn't matter, but I'm going to roll it for posterity. Three. <laughs> okay, so you take damage, one. Damage, get a power. Push me. Actually, that was perfect. I needed exactly one damage to get the power to throw and bow. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, in that case, maybe I just pay one and change it to zero damage. Right, because it would be a crit in the block for Super Genius. Now you can't guarantee. Right, because your throw is... Uh, throw is three... Medium. Um, and sometimes calls two, you have five. Yeah, if I do no damage here, that's preferable. So let me just spend that power and switch it to zero. The blocks are hits then? Yep. Okay, right. sorry. Yeah, she's done. There's not much else I can do with that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I spent my field dressing already. It's done last turn. That's why Shuri's alive. You good to go? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go with Medusa and just do some royal decree shenanigans, but I'm just... Mm -hmm. some stuff to say, so I go after Koye. <coughs> Okay, Medusa's gonna go. Mm -hmm. She's going to spend two to royal decree off of Thor to here. Okay. Um. I'm outside of two of your Koya. You would get cover, but I can throw you first. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna hair flip you. Okay. Uh, a Koya, of course. Mm -hmm. Um. Along the shallowest line that I can do, which I believe is this. Pretty close, yeah. Doesn't super matter as long as you stay within three and you're no longer in cover and ready to get butt blasted into oblivion. No, not my butt. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> braid bash your butt. No. Um, the five in tier three with your reroll. Big wolf. And I have no optional reroll, so go ahead and do your rerolls whenever. And I'm just going to one-shot her, apparently. Um, I'll do two for McCoy, because she's got a million power. I mean, Shuri. Yep. Uh, five Rolling into more freaking skulls. Automatic reroll. Uh, I don't think any of this matters, because I still take four. Yep, so you're just KO'd? Mm hmm And not unfortunately, I did not get the flurry trigger. As much as I would have loved it. Uh, um, so here's the interesting question. Oh, well, I get four power for my <clears throat> troubles. Yeah. Um, I don't believe I have LOS to surety, which is a shame, but I, I have my Enchantress. So I'm just going to bow you off the point. You're going to take the damage. So mm -hmm. actually that answers my question. I'm just going to braid bash Thanos and see what comes of it. Mm-hmm. Two so far with a crit hanging. Three so far with a reroll hanging. I'm gonna pay three, probably. Okay, three successes. Yeah. I mean, sure, he's on her way out, so I might as well just unload her. It's kind of my thought process, anyway. Block one. Um, I'm not gonna bother paying for the reroll. I will end up taking one damage. Okay. Um, I get a power. I'm going to buffer the push and do the flurry first. Sure. Three dice. Four so far. Showing one. Five. Two rerolls from Shuri. Uh, you have five minus two, two is three, minus one is two. 
So um, take two damage and I double push, yes. I'd like to go for another reroll. Yep, go for it. On oh, Thanos is with Wakanda. So nothing. So I take two. Yep, and I'm going to push you short twice. Ugh. And just send you down the river. Here. And then... Oh my god. And that way you're out of range of Angela without moving. Uh, and I'm fairly certain that just locks you out of the game at this stage. I think so. Like... Like, we can keep on playing, but the thing is, you have to go with Thanos right now. Otherwise, Angel's going to throw a size 4 truck at you and run away, and I don't think you take that very well on him. No, that feels bad. Um, so I think I go with Thanos to here. Yeah, move him on to the point, do yeah. your super power shenanigans, and... Are you within 3 of Thor there? Because ideally, pulling both of them off the middle is... Yeah, that was the plan, so... I was pretty confident looking at the board, but double checking is always good. So we'll bow him. Uh, I don't know. Past the lamppost, I guess. Can he get past that with that widget? It's hard to see on the grass. Yeah, he should be fine. And then we'll pay two to Cosmic Portal, the remaining character. Diz bitch. I don't know, I guess I just spread them apart. I don't really have any particular place that she needs to be. And that's a Thanos activation, because that sucks. Ah, shake at the start of the turn. Right. Only got one action, because it's dagger. <clears throat> okay. Uh, my Enchantress is just going to double move. Wait, how the fuck did she get this far? This does not seem right. <laughs> Two Shuri pushes. I mean, she was already almost at yeah. range three, right? So, No, no, no. She was standing on the point. Remember? Right? Am I not... Or am I going crazy? She was standing about there last time. And then... Yeah, and if you push me short twice, how did I just barely get back there moving straight with medium move? Because last turn I also did a Shuri push, right? So, oh, so it's three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was like Sorry. three short pushes eventually over time. Okay, so Enchantress is just going to go to there, mm -hmm. and with the virtue of the situation, I'm just going to spend two to bow you off the point, knowing that that's going to kill you. Yeah, it just dazes, but yeah. Yeah, days. Sorry. Yep. I mean, technically, KO doesn't kill you either, but... Sure. Um, my point was that because... Uh, I, like, I didn't want you getting tripped up, because I did field dressing her, so maybe you thought that she was dazed previously. Just wanted to be clear. No, no, no. Yeah, but you're, yeah, good catch. Uh, always good to clarify board state when you think somebody might have a different picture than you. It is yeah. so bad whenever you get somebody who gets like butt hurt over misunderstood oh board state. I feel the worst doing it to people. I just like I'm like I'm so sorry that this happened in our game. This is not fun for you. One of the most mortifying ones I've ever had is I was playing War Machine and we were short clock uh, for literally the last spot in the top sixteen at LVO. This was like 2017 or something. Oh my goodness! And while we were uh, doing like power phase and stuff, which we were trying to do as fast as possible, because it was like two or three minutes each on the clock. Yeah. Apparently, he like asked me to confirm a score that would have allowed him to win that wasn't the actual score. And because I wasn't paying attention, he just said like the score is blah blah. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then like I didn't realize what he thought until he literally clocked out and uh, claimed that he like won on the spot when he didn't cool it was one of the messiest judge calls i've ever seen i felt so bad for the guy yeah i mean unfortunately there's just no way around it most of the time i would love to be able to get onto that point with one move i honestly don't know why like I mean, you just move away onto your back shelter then, right? That doesn't gain me points. So yeah. maybe I just stay here and get the three and give up two. 
but I'm giving up three back here. No, this is game. I can't do anything, right? Because you're going to get so many points right here. That it is very difficult for you to come back from this. I don't, yeah. I don't see a path to victory, and I feel like I've learned enough. You know? <laughs> That's a good way of describing this match. I right? have learned enough. <laughs> right, like, I mean, at least seeing the Asgard portion of this, like, I can imagine how the Wakanda matchup goes, and we just kind of squabble over everything. And yeah. maybe I can pull something crazy out with Thanos, but I don't love it. And I think this is but... very much the natural team he's going to put into you if you force 20. The yeah. other option is instead of uh, Medusa up <clears throat> Koye, you might see Miles and um, blah, 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 uh, Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. uh, but the problem with that is that when you're playing this, the main point is that you're going to try and get the um, uh, you're going to get the extract onto Thanos if you try it all, yeah. right? And Miles isn't that good for that, so I. I would assume that you would prefer to just go for raw efficiency with Medusa <clears throat> Koye, but I mean, he's been a pretty big fan of Miles for a while as a splash character in Wakanda, I feel, so he might pull out that variant. Yeah. But if you, if you just make sure to pick things up on Thanos, Miles has a hard time reliably doing damage to him, even with his Venom Strike, so. Right. Especially under all your defensive rerolls and assuming you're doing a proactive extract pickup play, that means you have Reality Gem. I almost wonder if reality was right. So so part, part of the problem was this map. I think if we weren't playing with this fountain that I could just screw you up with, sure, he sits on the back, and then you would rather have um, Valkyrie and a reality gem than Enchantress. But because of this, I, I feel like you really wanted Enchantress. But... <sighs> There's also the maybe, maybe it's just absolutely necessary to have Enchantress if your opponent is having Enchantress in an alien ship game. I feel like I don't need it as long as I'm packing Thanos. And I feel that way because, statistically speaking, or at least, I don't know what the stats are on this kind of math, but, like, based on uh, practical experience instead, Thanos does a very... Thanos, with mind and reality, does a very good job just ripping Enchantresses off the table. That changes a bit with Asgard, but in every other affiliation, she just dies because he goes, he's got plenty of power to spend debuffing her and just gains it all right back. Yeah, <clears throat> that, that's been my experience in the past as well. Especially if you do it like on that one turn where you've got the arrivals up and running and you're like, well, guess you're rolling one die. Bye bye. One versus six. That's going to, that's going to go down real quick. She hits the ground like a ton of bricks there. Okay, um, yeah, I just, I feel more comfortable just being able to walk through it, so thank you for that. Um, yeah. And you GG's gave me a fun. bunch of good line of play to think about. Yeah, definitely, great game, man. Hey, you earned that win. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's one of those tricky things. That, that's part of the reason why I'm starting to fall out of love with Asgard, is like Thor in particular, if he doesn't do damage, he's just like, absolutely fucking worthless, and he feels the worst, because like, he can't afford his throws all of a sudden. He's not doing any damage. He's not doing any displacement. And I, I think that's part of what did me in this season is I did not expect Wakanda and Web Warriors to be that big. Mm. And Thor is awful into Web Warriors. And yeah, he's chancy as it is, pretty right? bad times into Wakanda. Yeah. yeah. I really feel like... So with Thor, um, my best success with him is A, you run him in Avengers because he can charge turn one. B, you Charged run him... turn one, guaranteed throw every round. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of upside. Um, when he can do stuff he can do plenty of stuff in Avengers automatically without having to roll dice and that's why he's good there um, and in any game where you can put Thor on some point next to a Baron Zemo that also works really well so he's actually pretty decent in Cabal because I do miss him in Cabal back yeah. in the drop off days yeah. where you'd play oh, Thor yeah. Loki and just hold down a flank with them uh huh and and sibling rivalry so good. Uh, them's yeah. where the day is. All right, bro. Thanks for the game. All right, GG's anytime. <laughs> Cheers. Later.